George the Rat, 1859 to 1891. George the Rat was born in Paris, France, 1859. He was a pointillism artist and also a sculptor. He grew up in France, wanting to become a better artist. He developed himself into mastering the art of black and white drawing. After a year, George returned from a military academy in Brest, France. He returned to Paris in 1880. He shared a small studio in Left Bank with two student friends before moving to a studio of his own. For the next two years, he developed himself into mastering pointillism. After returning from a trip, George met Madeleine Leblanc, a 20-year-old model. He started secretly living with her. When Madeleine became pregnant with their son, they moved from his studio to a tiny room measuring five meters square in a quiet courtyard. His son was born February 16, 1890, and he entered his son's name in the civil registers as Pierre George. Madeleine was pregnant again at the beginning of 1891 with a baby boy. Both children died later that year. The term pointillism was first used with respect to the work of George Seurat. George spent years perfecting his art. He did many landscape paintings, but also did portraits. I decided to do one of my art critiques on his painting Sunday afternoon in La J Grande Jacque. As you can see, many colors were used, from warm colors to cold colors. It looks like a normal, everyday kind of thing for most people. It's calm yet joyful. If I could ask George something, I would ask why he gave the people such a bland look when it seems like such a joyful day. If you ask me, I think it adds to the story of this, but I also wish he could have put emotion to the people so you could actually see the joy in their face and you can see how much they are enjoying life. George Surratt's cause of death was most likely an infectious angina. He died March 29, 1891 in La Plume. He is still a very well-known artist today.